Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to derive the transfer function from this given block diagram. Here we have a block diagram that is given by R of, sig R of a signal input and we have a K constant and then we have a function right here and Y of S is output. Now generally when we have a like a most control system can be there's an equation for most uh, control system we can derive y of s over r of s for most control system using this formula if you have a book it will be mentioned like this this equation y of s over r of s is equal to t of s g of s over 1 plus g of s h of s okay when you when you use this formula the answer for this question is straightforward. You can derive the transfer function for this uh, block diagram straightforward, like very fast. Now let's see how to do that. Now here we have y of s over r of s, r of s, and in our case, the g of s is basically the multiplication of this one and this one. That is k times one over s times s plus 1 and in the denominator we have 1 plus g of s h of s 1 plus g of s h of s and it become even more easier because uh, we don't have um, h of s uh, h of s is basically unity feedback and we don't have a unity feedback right here so that is actually one this one is actually just one so h of s is just one so it means we just have to put g of s alone here and g of s is the same value as in the top so we are going to just put that one right here k times 1 over s times s plus 1 okay now we have y of s over r of s and that is uh, equivalent to k times 1 over s times s plus 1 and in the denominator we have 1 plus k times 1 over s times s plus 1 and this is our final answer now this for this question it became so easy because we don't have a unity feedback system right but not most uh, like uh, some sometimes it's gonna it's not gonna be easy like this so we have to know something we, we are gonna have something extra so we have to know how to do in those kind of situations so in order to do in those kind of situations we have to know how we can derive this equation first if we know how to derive this equation we can use we can actually use that to any given uh, block diagram to solve the problem so this is simple and it became easy right here but if you have a complex uh, block diagram you can use this method this is going to be long method like a little bit longer than this but if you learn this uh, you're going to be able to solve any block diagram now let's go ahead and start one by one now first we have to know we are going to have a error right here we are going to add error over here and that error is basically equivalent to error can be found out using r of s minus y of s okay that's error formula now let's go and continue now the next thing is we are going to find out uh, y of s y of s is basically the straight line you have to see what is in the straight line and you have to multiply everything now here we have k 1 over s times s plus 1 and also we have the error so we have to multiply all these things and that's going to give us the output now that one is basically you here we have constants we put that one first and then we have a function i'm going to put it right here s times s plus 1 and we have the error that is e of s so this is all in the we have to just look at the straight path right here and multiply everything and the next thing is now we know that uh, e of s can be replaced with r of s or minus y of s let's go ahead and do that k times 1 over s times s plus 1 instead of e of s i'm going to just put r of s minus y of s minus y of s okay now what we are going to do is 
we can simplify the math furthermore but before we do that we just gonna multiply this rfs with this one and also yfs this with this one when we multiply we are gonna get uh, yfs is equivalent to yfs is equivalent to rfs times this whole thing that is k times 1 over s times s plus 1 and then uh, minus then we multiply yfs with this one so we are going to have yfs times the whole thing that is k times 1 over s times s plus 1 okay that's what happened when we multiply um, this one rfs minus yfs with this one now we we can simplify this one further by bringing this my minus yfs times k 1 over s plus s times s plus 1 to this side because we have yfs we can take it as common and make it simple so to do that i'm gonna bring it to the other side and i'm gonna just uh, go straight away straight away and take it as a common thing so we, we don't we can avoid uh, one more step now if i take it common and we are going to know this is just one and then when it comes to this side it's going to be plus and then uh, we already took y fs common so we can neglect this one and the only the thing that's going to be inside is this one k times 1 over k times 1 over s times s plus 1 okay now you can see s plus 1 okay and whenever we want to find out the transfer function function okay we we, we have to we shouldn't forget the thing that the other side of the equation as well that is r of s r of s times k times 1 over s times s plus 1 okay whenever we are finding the transfer function from block diagram our final goal is to derive y of s over r of s that's our final goal now we have y of s in this side already and we have r of s this side we can just bring it to this side if we bring it to this side that's going to be denominator because this is just a multiplication so this is going to be dividing when it comes to this side so we are going to have okay i'm going to continue in this side since i don't have a space i can even you know cut this one and uh, move to upside let's see mm -hmm. okay, default layout i'm going to just cut this whole thing because we are going to see compare the final answer with this one so i'm going to cut okay maybe control c i think uh, control c control v yeah, I brought it here and I'm just gonna uh, delete this one. I don't know why it's not deleting. it's maybe the layer problem okay let me fix this layer editor i'm gonna have this one um okay i'm just gonna hide this one and i'm going to delete this whole thing and then when we derive the final answer we can take it after it okay now I'm just going to delete the whole thing. Okay. Now let's go ahead and continue. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we have this one and I said our final goal is to derive yfs over rfs and if you put yfs over yfs over uh, rfs you can see this will become 
we have k times 1 over s s plus s times s plus only here so i'm going to just put it in the numerator that's uh, already in the numerator k times 1 over s times s plus 1 and in the denominator we are going to have this whole thing that is 1 plus k 1 times s times s plus 1 now this is our final answer this is a long method but if you learn to do this way you're going to be able to do any uh, block diagram given to you but if you do that the other way I uh, did before it's just work, it only work for simple system like this now let's compare the answer now this is one we derive and the one we found out from the previous one is this now you can see yfs over rfs is k times 1 over s plus s times s plus 1 1 plus k times 1 over s times s plus 1 and you can see it's the same thing and that's how we do these kind of problems and see we are going to do the complex problems in my next video i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching see you guys on my next video